What if I told you that I could use orcs to improve your illustrations? Better yet, what if I said that I could use orcs to improve not only your illustrations, but also your photography, storyboarding, concept art, etc.? The answer is going to take a little while to explain, so I'm breaking it up into an ongoing series of videos called the Principles of Design. And we're going to use orcs to explain these ideas. To get the ball rolling, I'm sure you're familiar with taking photos. And unlike making a painting or a drawing, here the creative act is framing or capturing objects that you see through the lens. So taking this still life, for example, I can take these objects and move them around. I could also set up a light to change the direction that the light's coming from. And I can move the camera around and see these objects from different vantage points. But you might not be a photographer. Maybe you want to draw castles and dragons, and they're hard to get in front of a camera. So far, all the videos in Control Paint have dealt with painting technique, which is to say, how to make brush marks, how to control your edges, and paint realistic surfaces. But none of the videos have really dealt with composition, the arrangement of the image, like how many arrows should be shooting at the castle wall, and from what angle should this image be drawn at all? Well, the truth is that every image is the intersection of both technique and composition. So while you've been practicing your technique, Know that those skills are in some ways separate from composition. In fact, the reason that these principles of design and composition are so versatile is because they'll work for any sort of media, and therefore you can use them for any type of visual art you want. All right, so you might be asking, when do the orcs come into play? Well, I said that I'd be able to use orcs to improve your illustration. What I'm really going to do is prove the point that technique and composition are separate skill sets, and do that with the orcs. As in, to practice these skills, you don't need to do any of the drawing yourself, just the arranging. So I'll provide the orcs, and you arrange them into cool compositions. For this series, I'll be exploring each principle of design in its own video, and by the end of the road, you'll have a versatile set of guidelines that should be able to apply to any sort of visual art that you want. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the rest of the series.